there friends, Debbie here with Debbie Gets Crafty and I am going to kit up today my husband's picture that he got from Timu. It's a deer and three cardinals on it. It's the very first diamond painting picture that he picked out for himself. There's the thumbnail. It's a 30 by 40 and I'm going to kit it up in his brand new diamond painting case that I got for him as a gift to welcome him into this wonderful craft journey with me and so I thought I'd kit up with you today and this way when he's done with his current project his yin and yang of the dragons he can just go ahead and start this project so what I'm going to do first is I have my labels right here I'm going to write out my labels for each of the bottles it's a 25 color set there are letters numbers and symbols on them and I'm going to put the symbol and I'm also going to put the DMC color code on the sticker itself so let me grab a pen and we'll get started now bear with me friends for just a moment because some of these uh, symbols are very very tiny and so it might take me a moment to try to differentiate what exactly they are so let me go ahead and see if we can't get this done this way and I'm so sorry for the for the angle for the glow the uh, glare rather but please do bear with me all right so we'll start here and that symbol is one and that's number 169 okay and how are you all today my friends I hope you're doing well and let's see here me I'm doing great every chance I get to spend a bit of time with my friends that's a win in my book all right and then five he asked me to to kid up he said if he had his way he would work right out of the bags and I said no 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 we have a nice case here for you so I'll be happy to kid up for you and that's what I'm doing there we go and the number eight normally I would have this done before I started filming but I figure why not we'll do it all together number nine is actually zero I hope they don't have it. no they don't okay and that is 816 now we'll go to the next symbol which is the minus sign and then the next symbol ooh, -wee. ooh that is a small symbol it looks like a B yeah that's what it is a letter B okay and that is the number 900 and then the lowercase u which is nine four five the only thing i don't like about this particular painting the letter u and the letter v are almost identical letter u is nine four five letter v is nine five one and they are almost identical And then we're going on to the letter X, which is 30, 42. And the numbers on the, the DMC numbers aren't really for, for my husband as much as they are for me. So when I kit down for him, then there's that funny, it almost looks like a pie symbol, I guess. I don't know. and then 
that looks like a number sign. There we go. That's 3322. 3722. And then that's a plus sign. That's 3771. And then that is an equal sign. That's 3799. And then we have the letter Z, like zebra. That is 3831. which moves us down to the letter S, 3857. Moves us down to the AND symbol. Try to do that and symbol one more time. There we go. That looks a little better, so we'll X that out and do that symbol. 3858. And then we have that. 3859. have the question mark. Which is 3860. Which brings us to the letter C. 3861. All right, my friends. So I'm all done with this painting right now. I'm going to take a moment to put this painting into its uh, sleeve in my to-do portfolio. So this way it'll flatten it out nicely so when Todd is ready to use it to put this painting together, it'll all be nice and flat for him. So I will be right back. See you in a moment. And we're back. Thank you so much. So I went ahead, I put the painting back into the sleeve of my to-do portfolio so this way the weight of my other portfolios on top of it will smooth that out and when he's ready to use it it'll be all ready for him so now we have our labels we have our empty containers and we have our drills we also have a boat to pour our drills into the container let's get started so we'll take our first container and we'll move this. All right, so we're going to start with number one, which is color number 169. All right, put that label right up on top. There we go. And we'll start with number one, which is 169. And there we go. We'll pour that right into the into the boat. And into whoop, into the container. <laughs> I'm gonna get a different boat. Into the container it goes. This one is a little actually it's not too bad. I was just a little off with my pouring. Whoop. Let's go ahead here. Get these into the container. There we go. And I noticed that there was a couple, there were a couple little stragglers left in the bag. There we go. One landed in, one landed out. All right. So we'll go ahead and there we go. That is his very first container for his very first large painting. 
So let me go ahead and adjust this so it's a little further down for us. There we go. All right. So we'll take our second container and I'm so sorry about the sound of the drills, the, the train of drills, but that's what you get when you get these types of containers, the, the uh, drill drain. So we'll put on the second one. Okay. Which is 210. This pretty lilac color. And actually we're going to try to just put them right in to the container. Here we go. And of course they land everywhere. You know, you knew, friends, going into this, if I had, if I had, was anywhere near loading up drills, we're going to have some fallout. That's okay. That's why we have our boat. And there we go. Okay. And I am so happy to do this for my husband. He knows how much I love, love, love to kit up. So... And he was so pleased when he saw this storage container. I'm so glad. I waited patiently, friends, to, to get him this. I wanted to get it so bad. As soon as he started working on the one that he's working on now, the yin and yang dragons, I wanted so bad to pick him out accessories and such but I thought you know what I'm gonna wait because I don't know if he's going to like it and I had you know a storage container for him that he could use and everything so it's not like he didn't have anything but I was really hoping that he would like it so I could get all the things for him just like I had <laughs> because isn't it honestly that's part of the fun too getting the different things and I'm budget friendly friends so I'm not going to spend a whole lot. So. But we still like, you know, the, the stuff that we have. And he's already bought himself his own pen. A new pen. That he's using right now. And. We got him. I got him to work on his yin and yang picture because it's only like either I guess 20 by 20 or 20 by 30 I got him um, from the Dollar Tree they have the, the things that are a little over a dollar well I got him a light pad and but when he picked out this new painting it's a 30 by 40, so I went ahead and ordered from Timu a larger light pad. When that comes in, I'll, I'll do an unbagging of it because it'll, I have a few other things that I'm getting in that order. But I got him an A4, no, whatever the size for a 30 by 40 is. That's the size light pad that I got him. So he'll have a good light pad to use. So I'm glad about that. What's this here? There we go. A little fuzzy. All right. And we are moving right along. Ooh, this is packed. This is color number 535. It's like a grayish. And it's loaded. Cross fingers. Not only that this all fits, but that I can do it all without spilling. Got a few more bits and bobs in here. There we go. Perfect. All right. And that fit just enough. She is full. Okay, moving on to color number seven, which is 762. 
So we'll go ahead, take that number. Yeah, I was very excited when he told me he picked out that picture. And it's something that we can work on together. He'll have his, you know, he has his diamond painting that he works on and I have mine with the yin and yang. And it's a lot of fun. You know, we sit at the dining room table and we can chit chat and diamond paint. It's just a lot of fun. So you can imagine my excitement when he showed some interest in it. All right, friends, moving on. There we go. There we are. And there are some colors that are very muted in this picture. There are some colors that are very bright in this picture. So it's really going to be interesting how this comes out. I'm really looking forward to it. So then number 9 is 816, which is the symbol O or 0. Oh, and that 816. I love that color. Pretty red. There we go. Had one go overboard, but that's okay. I found it. Boop. Back into the boat with your friends. All right. I love these screw tab, screw cap containers, friends. I love it. When I did the unboxing of this, I explained. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to hit you. I explained the reason why I liked them so much, and it's because uh, with the Tic Tac containers and even the other, you know, um, like Harbor Freights. I love my Harbor Freights. I have a couple of them that my husband gave me. I love them. But, you know, um, after a while, from opening and closing the lids, you know, it... Uh, it tends to wear that plastic down and it will break the lid. Either the, you know, the lid, the hinge for the lid, or the, the part that fastens the, uh, the lid down. But with the screw top lid, you know, you can open it and close it as many times as you'd like. And it's not going to hurt anything. It's not going to break. Unless you really tighten it too tight and it'll crack. But, you know, you should know better. You shouldn't do that. So the next symbol is the letter B, and that is the number 900 on the DMC. There we go. Which is a pretty burnt orange almost, burnt red color, really pretty. This picture is the perfect, it's the perfect time of year to do this picture too because it's almost hunting season and um, we actually have, my husband actually got a deer that's an eight point deer just like in the picture and um, he actually hangs in our living room over our fireplace and we call him Bubba and that's one of the reasons why Todd picked this particular picture because it literally looks just like Bella. And he got such a kick out of that. Ooh, this one's a little hard to cut. There we go. There. And so he got such a kick out of that. So he wanted to get that picture because it looked like Bubba. Now friends, this is color number 945, which is the letter U. Now, I'm going to set this aside, and I'm going to get our next container, which is the letter V. Why they put this, these two colors next to each other, I don't know. Which is color number 951. First of all, the letter U and the letter V look very, very close together. Second of all, wait until you see these. This is just silly.
you really, really have to be super duper uber careful when you're using these two because they look a lot alike. I know, I mean, come on friends, look at how much alike they look. So he's going to have to really pay attention when he's working on those two particular symbols. So our next symbol is going to be W. Let's see here. And that's 3031. There we go. Thirty thirty one. I like this set of colors, this train, because it's got the, the DMC number right on the, the bag. It's really nice. Nice dark brown. There we go. Oh yeah, so anyway, I think it's a perfect time of year to do this particular picture because it's hunting season and you know it's it's like an autumn -y type an autumn type of a, a picture so I really think it's pretty so we'll go on to the next symbol which is the letter X 3042 and that's what it says right here 3042 so we know we're on the right one there we go. It's a nice mauve color, which works nice when you're using tans because it'll work nicely with the tan colors and create shadows and such. Now this next is a pie, I believe it's pie symbol. I'm not 100% sure, maybe not. I don't know what type of a symbol it is. Looks like a set of T's. But anyway, 3371, which is a beautiful color as well. There we go. Didn't cut that down far enough. Much better. And here we go. And I know it's going to be a little bit of time before he starts working on this, but I figured, you know, he had the brand new case and I wanted to get the, the canvas flattened out. So I put it in my to-do portfolio and I figured, you know what, might as well just, you know, kit, kit it up now. This way, when he's ready for it, it's ready for him. 3722 go there we are we have one little two little stragglers left perfect next is our plus sign 3771 Pretty peach color. There we go. Nice. Drills are really nice. When I first unbagged that painting, I checked the stick. The stick was amazing. So, really nice painting. Can't hardly wait to, till it's finished. Let's see, $37.99 is this next color, which is also filled to the rim. Let's see, we gotta cut a little bit more off there. There we go. Fingers crossed that I get it all in the one container and I don't spill any. There we go, a little bit more. That's another one that just fit. But we got it. All right. And I'm going to just pause for one moment. I will be right back. Hello, I'm back. Thank you so much. We only have about uh, three, six colors to go. 
So we'll continue on, and the next color is the symbol Z, which is 3831. I just had to take a quick sip of my water. And I have to pause the filming roughly every half hour, so I don't think it was a half hour at that point, but um, because when I go to upload it for my... Uh, to edit it and uh, and the only thing I do when I edit it is put an intro and an outro but to uh, to get it ready for YouTube if it's anything over a half an hour an hour or so I don't remember what then it says it won't it won't upload so I just go ahead and split it up and put it all together and it works great that way there we go and we're on to the next color, which is the letter S, which is 3857. And we'll put our sticker on here. There we go. So, yes, I do love to kit up, and I am I have no problem kitting up for my hubby. Now, the only other thing that I have to get for him is uh, a stand that'll be big enough to hold the light pad. He's got a stand that'll hold his smaller light pad and I think it'll work for the larger one but I want to get him one that's gonna I know will work for the larger light pad. It didn't come with a stand. It's one that I got from Timu and so um, but I wanted to have a stand so he can sit it at an angle like he has his uh, smaller one now because we feel that when we use them on the angle, it's less stress on our neck. So, at least that's why I use it at an angle. There we go. That's the and sign, 3858. Friends, we're almost done. We only have a few more to go. So, 3859. I can never tell if that's the greater than or the less than symbol. I don't know. All I know is this is 38.59, so I guess that's all I have to know. As long as the symbol matches the painting and the number on the VMC matches the number on my uh, the number on my uh, sticker, then we're okay. And of course, I had to have a few fly everywhere. Of course, but of course, but that's okay. Didn't fly too far right there with uh, three of its buddies or two of its buddies. There we go. Perfect. Two more friends. There we go. And this is a question mark. And that is number 3860. 3860. This is pretty full. Not as full as the other couple of that that were full, but pretty full nonetheless. Let's go ahead and take that off. There we go. Filling, filling, filling. Perfect. Excellent. Okay. Lid that back up. Friends, we're at our last symbol, which is the letter C. 3861. So we'll put that there. Cut that open. And away we go. Here we go. I know I had one spill out. So oh, there's a couple left in the bag. Get in there, silly. Let's see here. There it is right there hiding on me. There we go. All right. So that is all done. Let's go ahead and pick up a little bit because I want to show you. I want to show you once I put all of my baggies that the colors came in in my little mini 
garbage pail that I got from Dollar Tree a million years ago. Still comes in handy. I want to show you what I did for his kit. There. Now, we'll look at the kit. I'll bring this back. There you go. So we have our kit all numbered up. Hang on for me. Well, there we go. All numbered up with the symbols and the numbers of the DMC. And it's all filled. Now he has this whole area right here that's all empty. And then what I did was, remember, if you remember, it came with a little, in the slip pocket, the slide pocket, it came with this little package, this plastic resealable bag, but it had all pink accessories in it. So I switched them out for some blue ones with white accessories as well. I had a white Mosfa boat that I gave him and some spare baggies, and it's a Mosfa boat. And I also had some extra blue pads of wax, so I figured I'd toss those in as well since I was using other blue accessories for them. But I did keep the, the pink containers of wax in there as well for him. And then on this side, I exchanged all the pink pens with the blue pens. I exchanged the pink, um, the pink funnel for the blue funnel. I included four squishies to put on the pens. And I, I didn't have a blue straightener, but I just uh, I used the white straightener that I had. And I put it in there, and he still has all of his, all of his stickers that he can use. So I'll put that in his little side pocket, that little slip pocket there, and there you go. And we'll just close this up. The zippers are so nice and smooth with the rubberized pull pulls on them. There we go. And we can pull that handle out. Lift that up like that. There we go. And that, my friends, is what we're what we kitted up today. Isn't that neat? It's such a nice little container. Really nice container. So, friends, thank you so much for stopping by and visiting with me while I kitted up this uh, beautiful picture for my husband. His very first larger size diamond painting in his own hardcover diamond painting kit holder with his accessories and drills. He's all kitted up, ready to go. So when he's ready for this, for his painting, it'll be ready for him. Thank you for stopping by and visiting with me. And please, friends, if you've not yet subscribed, please consider doing so. If you're already a current subscriber, thank you so much. I appreciate your continued support. Please hit that like button, the thumbs up, and leave me a comment uh, you know by leaving that uh, by hitting that thumbs up it really does help the algorithm here in YouTube and uh, I'm a tiny little crafting fish in a great big crafting pond so your support and your help really does make a difference it helps my channel to grow friends I want to thank you so much for stopping by again until I see you again please watch out for yourselves take care of yourselves and watch out for your friends family neighbors and all those pets uh, that don't have a voice, you need to be that voice for them. And from my heart to you, thank you so much. You take care until we see each other again. Goodbye now.